Okay, so filming on filming <laughs> painting on an 11 by 14 again. Um, Jeff's gone for a walk, so I figured I'd come down here. Why not? These gloves are absolutely massive on me, and I like floating them as you can see, so this should be fun. Um, this will be the what I use for my flip cup, and these two I will add it to my. Bright aqua green. And I shall also add it to my Rio Tech Ultramarine Blue. I love this. It's so just uh blue. Amazing. I don't know why I love that blue so much. It's just pretty blue. Deck those heads away. Come here, sticks. I need you. Oh, oh well. Okay. Still using this. Um, soon, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. I knew a third would come if I just shook it a little bit. Put it in my hair. Uh. I always take the extra in my hair, after all. It is stuff for hair and beards and stuff like that, so why not? Also, I figured out that the Cenestoke level is very, very low on it, and that's why I have my little micro cells. If I had, like, a better silicone, it'd create the bigger cells. Anyways. Also going to be using Grumbacher in Dioxazine Purple and Artist Love in Light Magenta. I think these four will go nice together. So, mm, I'm going to start with purple. Then blue. Or then that. Then I'll go pink. Blue, purple, pink, green, blue. It is one full cup. Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. Wait a second. I find that it's always easier just to do this part without gloves. But I still get paint everywhere no matter what. So. That is not center. Oh. Go me. I'm, I'm terrible at trying to make things center. So, for my base color today, using Artist Love Titanium White, I find that I have white base to it. It makes it pop a lot more than a black base does. It's not that it, like, loses it in the black. It just um, isn't as vibrant. So. A trusty old palette knife to help spread this out. I'm done spreading this out. That's what I was afraid of. Ugh. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that have dried. Cause I'm, I can't remember what I've showed you that's dried and what hasn't, so bear with me. Um, I know I haven't shown you guys this one. This is how the 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 pretty blue. And pink one turned out. Yeah. I like it. I don't know how I managed to get that square in the corner. It, <laughs> it's so neat to me, though. Here is how... Oh. Don't be stuck. Thank you. Or just... Okay. I should 
should check it. Okay. She's taking gloves off for a second. I'm fighting with my thumbtacks over here and I just keep falling out of the painting. This is how this one with the bronze in it dried. Looks really nice. Dark. I like it. Um, yeah. I love how the thumbtacks just decided to be like, I'm gonna stay behind. <laughs> um, yeah, and I also have one more to show you. And I'm just gonna put my gloves back on quick so I can build the painting after. Uh, this is how the one I'm going to give to my neighbor dried. It's very pretty. Just waiting for it to cure a little bit longer so I can seal it. I find that, like, the cure time on them is about a week. So, and then afterwards I can actually bring the cornstarch out of it properly and seal them without having issues. I gotta clean my palette knife still. I'm going on a rant. I'm sorry. I usually don't ramble like this. <laughs> so, uh, last night Jeff and I made an apple crisp and it's gone and I gotta make another. Yeah. Less than 24 hours. Apple crisp, gone. It was so good though. <laughs> There is so much paint in here. <laughs> I'm glad I picked these colors, that's for sure. Okay. Before I do much of anything else, just tilt this bad boy. The lip was totally needed, especially with the paint running out of it. It just made it so much cooler. I'll go... Eh, I'll just get that cord now. Why not? There. Bring it down and back. Gish me. Duh. Kind of looks like odd jellyfish in places. And then, yeah. Underwater scene. Almost. Just trying to bring it back to the center. Uh, go I guess up this way. Nah, we'll go down this way with it. Indecisions. I, blah, blah, blah. Huh, I want to keep this one. <laughs> it's a, like, honestly, this, this is totally my favorite. But then again, who knows how long this will last as a favorite. It seems that everything is a favorite. Okay, so now that once I'm done, like, getting this figured out here, like, I like the lacing that's going on. I almost feel like I shouldn't torch it, but I should at the same time. I gotta flip my gloves a certain way so I can at least wash them. Or rinse them or something. Please. Mm, it's difficult. Um, use a rag, right? Yeah, use a rag. Okay. Stick that there. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Sp I'm gonna spot torch it. Ugh. 
see what happens, you know? So I added it to the blue. Overpowering. <laughs> the blue is very overpowering, I must say. And I also added it to the green. So. Huh. Cool. This is by far one of my favorite ones. It kind of looks like an underwater mystical mystery thing. Oh. Also. Um, going to be doing a live stream very soon with some of my old paintings. A lot of them I want to gesso over and redo. So it'll be kind of one of those like last call for all these paintings. I will let you know in a community post when it's supposed to happen. It's trying to get things figured out right now. Um, it will be my first live stream, so bear with me. I am going to get you down now. Now that more cells have done stuff and I'll get you down for a close-up. This is probably my favorite painting, like just flat out. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments below. Like this video if you liked how this painting came out or really any of the colors in here. Also comment down below if you have any ideas because that's just helpful. Share with your friends to spread the love. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.